The new warning from the World Health Organization that death rate from the coronavirus is rising. 3.4% is higher. Twice as deadly as previous estimates. 3.4% the state of emergency. emergency. Well, I think the 3.4% is really a false number. Based on a lot of conversations with a lot of people that do this, I think the number is way under 1%. So to fact check, the World Health Organization says the coronavirus death rate is 3.4%. President Trump lies that the World Health Organization is wrong. The number is 3.4%. 3.4% is what it's being reported around the world. Making it deadlier. So much death. The death rate. The percentage is 3.4%. And no hunch from the president can change that. Trump lied about the most recent World Health Organization estimate that the global death rate of coronavirus is 3.4%. The 3.4% death rate was wrong, and WHO data later updated it to a fraction of 1%. Let's go back into history. Trump has a hunch that the death rate is lower than 1%. Way under 1%. Way under 1%. <laughs> Will someone put a mozzarella stick in this stupid hole? Trump lied to viewers about the mortality rate. Way under 1%. False information. He's spreading disinformation. Misinformation and dangerous. dangerous. Disinformation. If you're president of the United States, you have the world's greatest scientists at your disposal. You listen to them. Leading scientists, including Dr. Fauci, wrote in the New England Journal of Medicine that the death rate could be considerably less than 1%. Way under 1%. Why are you going on national television and contradicting experts based on a hunch? His fake hunch with some fake math. The president somehow thinks it could be lower than 1% based on nothing. Based on a lot of conversations with a lot of people that do this. Outright lies. Contradicting health officials on fatality rates. It's not a time for Donald Trump to be calling into cable shows. It's a time for the CDC. What is CDC's best estimate of the fatality rate? It's somewhere between half a percent and 1%. To a fraction of 1%. The president is spreading false information. Information, discarding what the health professionals are saying. Outright bogus information. Science is not based on hunches. A hunch yeah. about what he thinks is going on. Instead of trusting information from doctors and scientists. He has a hunch. Hunch, hunch. A hunch. It's not a time for Donald Trump's hunches. It's a time for science. It's a time for doctors. Welcome, Dr. J. Bhattacharya. Uh, my hypothesis, my hunch, was it is likely to be less deadly than the World Health Organization was saying. 3.4%. There's no way that was true. Really uh, false numbers. This is why I ran the study in April of 2020. And what did you discover? The infection fatality rate was 0.2%. Way under 1%. Trump continues to contradict and downplay all things coronavirus. The president appearing to contradict medical experts on the mortality rate of the virus. Personally, I would say the number is way under 1%. Later on CNN. Our estimates are probably pretty inflated. Very high because the easy cases, they don't report to doctors or the hospital in many cases. So uh, initially, WHO released uh, estimates of 3.4%. Really a uh, false number. The true infection fatality rate is likely to be far, far less. Way under 1%. It could be in the range of a seasonal influenza. To a fraction of 1%. And this is just my hunch. He is spreading misinformation and disinformation. You can even call it information. An outbreak of sketchy information coming from the president. He's using a hunch instead of listening to the global authority on public health. A hunch. There's a lot to be concerned about. His hunch. A hunch. Hunches. Just my hunch. His hunch. His hunch. My hunch. Based on a lot of conversations with a lot of people, that's not what you want for the American people. A hunch. Uh, I think, in retrospect, those quotes are going to look even more damning. Sometimes you have to laugh. To keep from crying. A pandemic of misinformation. To put out misinformation. Spreading false information. The, the disinformation. Falsehood. Wrong and misleading information. Misleading. Misinformation and misinformation. Misinformation. Just unspeakably reckless. It's totally reckless. It's dangerous to have conflicting messages out there. That is very dangerous. How dangerous is it? Really dangerous. What is the danger? I think we're in a very dangerous period. Uh, if the president continues to hunch